Today, we are at Rosewood. Rosewood is a uh, community location that FEMA has constructed for individuals who are survivors of the campfire. Families are moving in over the next few days, and they will be, and this area will be full of families who have, are transitioning from either temporary sheltering program or whatever kind of living arrangements they were able to make up to this point in time. What do these trailers look like? The trailers, this particular trailer is adaptive unit for an individual with special needs. They are one, two, and three bedroom units. They all come fully furnished with brand new appliances and furnishings, bedding, and towels. So when a family walks in here, they will have the fundamentals that you would need to set up a household. Kitchen, living room, Kitchen, bathroom. living room, three bedrooms, and two full bathrooms. And these aren't trailers? They are not trailers. They are called mobile housing units. And these are living, these are homes. These are legitimately our households. And um, families are delighted to be moving in here and um, taking over these spaces for however long it takes for them to recover from the fires. Can you show me the kitchen and then maybe sure. go into one of the bathrooms? And sure, sure, bedrooms? sure. We're here where you're standing in the kitchen today, as you can see, this particular unit is a three bedroom unit. It's very, very large. It comes from a full size refrigerator an electric stove, a microwave, and everything in here that you see today is brand new. One of the things you also see when you're outside are these big white wooden boxes. Those are fire suppression units. Those units uh, give a sense of comfort to individuals who've been through the, same, the experience that they've had to endure um, and um, through the campfire. So each one, which is very unique system, but we wanted people to make sure that they knew that they, in the event that anything happened, um, that they would be taken care of. Uh, we also have, I don't have one of the refrigerator magnets with me, but on each one of the refrigerators is a 1-800 number. Should anything go wrong with your unit, you call that 1-800 number and someone will answer that phone seven days a week, 24 hours a day, and come out and help you. While you're living here at the, um, this is what we call long-term recovery. While you're living here, you will meet every 30 days with a case manager who can assist you with any unmet needs, um, talk to you a little bit more about your recovery and what your long-term plans are, whether you intend to maybe move back to paradise or whether you are in need of some employment assistance or childcare. So that case manager is an advocate for you to talk to uh, on a regular basis and just give them kind of a sense of what's going on in your life and work on a longer term plan. So that individual is going to help you work through what you've been through and then talk to you about what you think your plans might be going forward. Um, like I said, everything in here is new. Um, and then we also have uh, a lot of community partners, corporate outreach, nonprofits, church groups that can help families with some of the things that you don't see here today. Perhaps you have small children. Perhaps you have, um, uh, don't have many clothes. Talk to your case manager and let them know what your needs are and we can try and hook you up with some from further assistance um, through our nonprofits or our government outreach. Uh, that's heart water in there. Um, as you can see, these are fully furnished, painted, um, they have final floors for easy upkeep, and um, we hope that this will make your stay a little bit more comfortable and that you'll be able to call this place home for the next year. Stay, but I was, I was like at the Church of the Nazarene, which was one of the immediate Red Cross. I'll just get these from here. Well, you know, it's hard to get a job too if you don't have. Yeah. 